Hey everyone, so today's video is actually going to be a favorites video, and this is for the month of February. Today is February 22nd, so I thought I would do um, a, a February favorite. Sorry, my jacket's like really messed up, but um, yeah, I have a couple random products, and it's mostly lip products. Like, I have so many favorite lip products, it's like crazy. Let me brighten this for you guys. Can you even see? So, the first thing is kind of not beauty related, but, um, well, it is. But, um, this is the nail polish I have on right now, and it's on my toes. I have been obsessed with this for the past month. I've been repainting it and repainting it and repainting it constantly. This is OPI's nail polish in What's With the Catitude from their Shrek collection. Okay, I'm going to try to do this. So yeah, I have been obsessed with this. It's on my toes, it's on my nails, I just repainted it last night, and yeah, I just, I, uh, obsessed. <laughs> so yeah, I really, really like that. And then next is not practically beauty related, but I forget the brand that this is called, but these little black bobby pins have been a savior for me. Um... My hair and my bangs and my loose hairs and stuff are always getting in the way, so these have been my savior for, uh, I don't know, for the past month. Um, and yeah, obsessed. So I just use the black ones, and I wear my hair in a braid a lot, that's why my hair is so curly right now, because I just took it out of a braid. Um, so... I pin back my bangs or any loose hairs that didn't get into the braid, and I pin it back, and it's not as noticeable as I if I just let it go. It'd be really noticeable. I think they're like scoonchy or something like that. I don't know. But I really, really like these. You can find them at Target and Walgreens, so yeah. Love those. And the last non be related product is Victoria's, Victoria's Secret. Wait, i got to find the front. Sweatpants, yoga pants, sweatpants, sweatshirts, any comfy clothes from Victoria's Secret has been my life. This, oh my gosh, you do not know. These are my favorite out of all my sweatpants from Victoria's Secret, personally, because I just, I love them. Like, I love the designs that they have on them, like the love pink. I love how comfy and, like, warm they are. They're just, like, amazing, and... These are what mine look like. I featured this in my haul video for Christmas, 86. Love pink down the side. Love the Victoria's Secret sweatpants. I'm wearing these tonight for sure. Okay, now on to kind of makeup products. Um, first I'll start out with this and then I'll get into like the brushes and applicators and then I'll get into lips, then eyes, then cheeks. So first is Neutrogena's. Rapid Clear 2-in-1 Fight and Fade Gel, and this is amazing. My mom used this, and she said it didn't work on her, but I just decided, you know what, we are different people, we have different skins, obviously. I'll see if this works on me. So we went to Sephora, was it yesterday? Yeah. We went to Sephora yesterday, no, two days ago. Yeah, two days ago. And on Sunday. And she found a new acne clearing... Thing. So if this doesn't work for me, which it has been, if it quits working, then I'll try what she's trying because obviously it's working on her. Um, but I have been obsessed with this because um, I don't know if you can see on camera, but I have some right here, one right here. I had one right here, but it went away right when I started using it. Some down here and down here and like over here. I just have been having a lot of acne breakouts lately, so this is amazing. It works for me. All you have to do is squirt it in your hand. I do it before I go to bed and just pat it on the area. And the, I mean, I've been working this, I'm working this. I've been using this for two weeks, maybe, maybe, yeah, two weeks. Um, and it's really worked for me. I definitely see a difference. They're dried out. They definitely shrunk. Um. So yeah, I really, really like this. <clears throat> Next, on to applicators. You guys know on my last updated foundation routine, which I keep changing my foundation routine <clears throat> constantly, but you guys knew that I use my fingers. I was like, it's the best way to blend. Well, I switched out of that. 
Um, now I have been using my Eco Tools concealer brush and sponge tip applicators. The little triangle sponge tip applicators just to pat on my foundation or my stippling brush, but mainly it's been this. And what I do is I don't buy beauty blenders because I feel that I can, you can use something that you have. Um, and you don't have to go out and spend eight ten dollars on a beauty blender, which is just a sponge. So what I do instead of the beauty blender is I use the edges, and I kind of go on my nose, around my eyes, and my eyebrows, and I just blend really easily with this. So that's my beauty blender, and I really really like this sponge so far. I use it to apply my foundation, as you guys can see, and yeah. Really amazing, and then this is just amazing for me as well. It's really soft and easy to apply, and it's just giving me this like flawless under eye look because I really have dark circles. <clears throat> now, on to eyes. You guys know I talked about this earlier the Revlon Fabulash mascara in black, and I told you guys, oh my gosh, never ever buy this. I told you guys that a while ago, I think. I was like, don't buy this, it's not worth it, it's super clumpy, and it's just not worth the money. Well, it looks clumpy on the brush, but it's not. I mean, it can be clumpy if you don't use it. Like, look at how clumpy that is, you guys. Ugh. But it works. It works, I promise you guys. I put it on the other day, I was like, because like, I lost my mascara, I was like, whoa, this actually works. So I found my mascara and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to use this bottle up until it's gone. And we'll see how it goes. And if it starts being annoying and I don't like it again, then I'll just toss it. I already have four mascaras, so it's probably useless. But I've been using this lately, so yeah, don't be intimidated by the brush. It's really not that bad. Next for eyes, I mentioned this in my haul. This is like my favorite eyeliner. You guys, I told you guys that, I, that it didn't work for me to put on my waterline. Well, I just did it and it works. This is Maybelline's Eye Studio Gel Liner and Black is Black. And this is what it looks like. It looks like a matte fluid line. And what you do is you take the little brush it comes with. You can just apply wherever you want. I mainly apply it up on my upper lash line. But lately I've been putting it on as my black for my waterline. It's really worked. And it's definitely waterproof, so that's a good thing. It says it does not smudge on the packaging when I first bought it. So it doesn't, even on my waterline. So I really, really like this. So if you guys can go spend your $8, $10 on an eyeliner, that's the eyeliner. Now on to lips, and then I'll go on to cheeks. So I have a lot of lip products to show you guys today. First are these two, and I think I featured these in one of my hauls, but I don't think I've posted that haul. I don't know. Um, but it's the In Color by Jordana Lip Shine Natural Glaze and In Color by Jordana Lip Shine Shimmer Glaze in Pina Colada, and the Natural Glaze is in Pink Grapefruit. I really like these. These were my go-to lip glosses when I was so wanting to buy these Stila lip glazes, but I just didn't have the time to go to Sephora and didn't have the money. And so when I went to Sephora to go pick one up, I got caught into the sale section and they had those two Kat Von D and Tarino Tarantino lip glosses, so I ended up buying those instead of a steel lip glaze, but you know what? They're not going to go off the market, so I will go buy some when I have time to. Um, so yeah, I really, really like these. These are so much cheaper than Stila. These are $1.99 a piece, and I really, really like these. So pink grapefruit is just a light baby pink color. Um, it's really neutral and definitely an everyday color. And then Pina Colada is a clear, but it has a lot of sparkle. And I just really, really like the way, just the formula and the way these apply. I like the brush tip applicators. But I have two more lip glosses that are not brush tips. And the first one is NYX's Mega Shine Lip Gloss in French Kiss. I have been using this a lot at first. I bought it and I was like, oh my goodness. This is amazing, and then I was like, wow, this really is like streaky and gross and sticky, and I hate this lip gloss. But as you guys can see, I've been getting to, into the stuff that I didn't like before. So, I'm kind of rediscovering some things. So, this is one of the things that I've rediscovered, and I just really like it. I just love the packaging. Like, look at the little, oh, as you guys can see, my dog got into it. You can see the little holes on it. Ugh, stupid dog. Just kidding, I love my dog. 
But on the applicator, it looks like that. It's like kind of, kind of a slanted doe foot applicator. And the packaging is just so cute, you can't resist. So, I really like that. And then next is my MAC Cream Sheen Glass in Partial to Pink. And I have been applying this constantly. I actually lost it two days ago, and I was so upset. I was like, well, I paid $20 for this lip gloss. I don't want to lose it because I paid my own money. Actually, I just paid with a gift card. But um, this is my first time trying out a cream sheen glass, and I was just like, I'm so sad. It's gone. Well, I found it in my purse, so that's a good thing. And it's such a pretty color. I brought this to school today, and I got a lot of compliments on it, which is pretty good. So really, really like this lip gloss and then the last non it's not a lip gloss but it's strawberry soft lips and I've been obsessed with soft lips lately that I just love them so this is a clear one as you guys can see by the name it really does give you soft lips so go check out soft lips those are at Walgreens any drugstore now onto cheeks only two more products and then I'm done so first is a MAC blush in Pink Swoon, and this was my first MAC blush ever, and I mentioned it in my MAC haul, I was so excited, and I absolutely love this color lately, I've just been putting it kind of up here, not directly on the apples, because that's not what you're supposed to do, and it's really giving me just like the most natural flush, and it's just so pretty, and this is a sheer tone blush, so it's not very harsh, um, yeah, I really, really like this blush. Like, I cannot get enough of Pink Swoon. So, yeah, as you guys can see, it's, like, very light. And it's definitely not the hot pink that it comes off in the packaging. It's very sheer. So, the last blush is what I've been using. If I use this, this is what I've been using for a highlight. But otherwise, I've just been using it as a blush. Because it's very shimmery and very, very, very transparent is that the word no translucent sorry it's not super pigmented at all which I really like because it's like actually really pretty you guys would think oh it's so ugly it's not even like you can't even see it but I don't know what I did to you but yeah look do you see that like what what's the shiny stuff but anyways this is a covergirl um, classic color blush in natural glow number 570 and it's so pretty natural that this has been my highlight lately I'm looking up at a mirror sorry and it's just giving you that kind of glow but it's also giving you a bit of color which I really really like so that's about it um I'm trying to think if I have anything else um no I think that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this February favorites, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.